License plates read Mr. C.U., a fitting title for a man who has devoted nearly 57 years to the U.S. credit union movement. Al Jordan began his credit union career in 1938. He was working for the Western Union Telegraph Company in Des Moines when the employees joined forces to form a credit union to answer their financial needs. Al became the first volunteer treasurer and was on his way. In July 1953, Al entered the CUNA Management School at the University of Wisconsin. His class was the first graduating class, and he was valedictorian. In 1993, he was the honored speaker at the 40th anniversary commencement of the CUNA Management School. In 1954, Al was named president of the Iowa Credit Union League. Under his leadership, the staff of the league grew from just five people to more than 90 when he retired in December 1981. Al's contributions to the credit union movement have been enormous. While at the Iowa Credit Union League, Al led the charge into the electronic age with the formation of what was then a futuristic data processing service. He traveled throughout Iowa explaining the benefits of developing such a service and had to overcome a lot of skepticism. In fact, at one point he was even told that it was the most idiotic thing he'd ever dreamed up. Thankfully, his vision prevailed. Today, credit union members in 11 states benefit from this vision. Al has proven time and time again that he is a leader dedicated to the credit union movement. When the Department of Banking declared share drafts illegal, Al Jordan and his league successfully fought them in court. This case was subsequently argued in other states where the issue was forced to court. Al also used his considerable legislative influence toward creating an Iowa electronic funds transfer law which required mandatory sharing of ATM and point-of-sale terminals so credit union cardholders could not be denied access or charge more for access than a customer of any other financial institution. Many times, Al traveled to Washington to make sure that the Iowa congressional delegation was aware of the needs of Iowa's credit unions and their role in a cooperative environment. Al's efforts helped Iowa credit unions move from small, unsophisticated entities to full-service financial institutions. Al is also a staunch supporter of credit union youth involvement and education. Children involved in the Kirby Kangaroo Club, which is the youth savings program, benefit from his friendship and knowledge, too. Al Jordan and other league presidents went to Europe in 1978 to participate in an international study of other financial cooperative systems and he was always receptive to hosting credit union interns from developing countries to learn from credit unions in Iowa. One of the things that most attracted Al to credit unions was the idea of people helping people. In speeches and lectures, he emphasizes the importance of democratic control and ownership. Even the Iowa Credit Union League softball team, the Share Drafters, got to hear about it now and again from the boss. Al retired from the league in 1981, but his credit union involvement didn't stop there. In February 1983, Al was named director of the CUNA Member Expansion Program until December 1984. He has also served as president of the National Association for Retired Credit Union People and as a director of CUNA. Al was also one of the founders of CUNA Data Corporation and served as its chairman for five years. Through the years, he has remained active on numerous committees with CUNA and the CUNA Mutual Group. In addition to his work with credit unions, Al is active on the board of Calvin Manor, a retirement home in Des Moines, and the Shepherd Center, a senior educational and social organization. He also serves as a member of the board of directors of Windsor Heights Foundation and ITS Inc., the Iowa transfer system providing electronic funds transfer services for financial institutions. Al Jordan's dedication to the cooperative movement is not subtle, but rather a bold commitment to the philosophy and ideals which it represents. He has set a continuous example that working together serves us all best. We are delighted to be honoring him with induction into the Cooperative Hall of Fame.